From a broken and disregarded island crushed by the military giants of its time, that every superpower wants to make an alliance with. Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. If China were to act unilaterally, there would be a response. The story of Taiwan is nothing less than remarkable. The tale, interestingly, is also marked by an unexpected player which will revolutionize the world. Or will it lead us to World War III? We're talking about how Taiwan is overpowering China not with military might, but with tiny chips that make the world go round. Our story begins with the resilient island that faced the trials of Japanese occupation from 1895 to 1945. Under this rule, Taiwan endured the most insanely repressive policies. We're talking confiscation of Taiwanese land for redistribution to Japanese settlers, educational policies trying to erase Taiwanese history, forced labor, and countless other evils. All of this was ultimately about contributing to Japan's imperial aspirations. World War II marked a turning point as Taiwan transitioned from Japanese to Chinese rule, led by the Kuomintang Party. The post-war era, from 1945 to 1949, was saturated with political instability and loads of societal unrest. The KMT's authoritarian rule imposed censorship, political purges. You basically couldn't say what you were thinking. Then, the Chinese Civil War happened in 1949. Martial law for four decades. This period was rightly known as the White Terror. Imprisonment, executions, you name it, nothing was off the table. Taiwan was not one to back down. The island, not officially declaring independence, began to function as a separate entity. Democracy brought her warm embrace, and the Taiwanese finally tasted freedom. The 1960s and 70s witnessed Taiwan's economic miracle, shifting from an agrarian economy to an industrial powerhouse. Government-led initiatives, coupled with a skilled workforce, fueled rapid industrialization and set the stage for the technological giant we see today. Remember the unexpected player I mentioned in the beginning? Well, it's semiconductors. But what exactly are semiconductors, and how are they relevant to Taiwan? In simple words, they are these tiny chips that are the brains behind almost all electronic devices, from smartphones, computers, microwaves, all the way down to military systems. Their unique property of conducting electricity under specific conditions makes them indispensable. The global economy heavily relies on these miniature wonders, with countries like the United States, Japan, and South Korea chasing after them to fuel their technological ambitions. These nations fully understand that control over semiconductor production is like holding the reins of innovation on economic power. Their magic lies in their ability to control the flow of electrical currents, enabling the processing and transmission of information. As technology leaps forward, the demand for more powerful chips intensifies. The race for cutting-edge semiconductors has become a key aspect of international competition, with artificial intelligence, 5G, and the Internet of Things driving the need for advanced processing capabilities. Countries are scrambling to secure a steady supply of these chips. The US-China-Taiwan Triangle. Now comes the drama, the geopolitical chessboard involving the US, China, and Taiwan has deep historical roots. The United States has maintained a complex relationship with Taiwan, stemming from the aftermath of World War II and the Chinese Civil War. When the Kuomintang retreated to Taiwan in 1949, the US switched its recognition from Taipei to Beijing in 1979, adhering to the One China policy. But is the US supporting Taiwan on the down low? You'll have to find out in just a bit. 
China, on the other hand, sees Taiwan as part of its territory and has continually sought reunification, even if it means using force. Taiwan's semiconductor leadership has become a focal point in this complex triangle. Enter the Chip War, a battle not fought with traditional weapons, but with cutting-edge technology. Taiwan's semiconductor industry has become a strategic asset, making it a pawn in this political game. The implications of the chip war extend far beyond the confines of technology. In the realm of global politics and economics, control over semiconductor production means influence over innovation, economic stability, and national security. The U.S., with its historical ties to Taiwan and its own semiconductor industry, finds itself in a delicate balancing act. On one hand, it seeks to maintain its strategic alliance with Taiwan, while on the other, it navigates a complex trade relationship with China. To understand the gravity of the situation, let's delve into the concise history of the United States semiconductor industry. We're gonna make sure the supply chain for America begins in America. Born out of the post-World War II era, the US semiconductor industry rapidly evolved, becoming a powerhouse of innovation. Silicon Valley, a symbol of this technological revolution, emerged as a hub for semiconductor research and development. However, the landscape changed as global competition intensified. The US no longer dominates semiconductor manufacturing, and countries like Taiwan and South Korea have risen to prominence. As the chip war unfolds, the US is compelled to secure its semiconductor supply chain. The competition for technological supremacy has become a critical factor in shaping global politics and defining the delicate dance between the US, China, and Taiwan. The stakes are high, and the outcomes of this intricate game will ripple across industries and nations. Coming back to the question of what makes Taiwan such a prominent player in the realm of semiconductors, enter Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, an establishment that stands unchallenged as the powerhouse of semiconductor manufacturing. At the epicenter of global chip manufacturing, TSMC has garnered substantial investments from major technological giants. Companies like Apple, Qualcomm, and AMD heavily rely on the TSMC to manufacture the advanced chips powering their flagship products. This deep integration into the supply chains of industry titans really highlights TSMC's indispensable role in the high-stakes world of semiconductor production. The world's dependence on TSMC extends across continents, with countries worldwide clamoring for its cutting-edge chip manufacturing capabilities. Notably, the United States, with its tech giants at the forefront, is a prominent buyer, emphasizing the critical role of TSMC in American technological leadership. China, despite geopolitical tensions, also remains a noteworthy customer. Other prominent buyers include Germany, India, and countless others spread across the continents. TSMC's influence is not confined to mere manufacturing. It has been a driving force behind several groundbreaking innovations in the semiconductor industry. The company pioneered the use of extreme ultraviolet lithography, a revolutionary technique that allows for the creation of smaller and more densely packed transistors on silicone wafers. This breakthrough has significantly enhanced chip performance and energy efficiency, setting a new standard for semiconductor manufacturing globally. Furthermore, TSMC has been instrumental in advancing semiconductor packaging technologies. Its innovative integrated fan-out packaging has enabled more compact and efficient chip designs, contributing to the miniaturization of electronic devices. This not only caters to the demand for smaller and lighter gadgets, but also enhances overall performance and thermal management. The strategic importance of TSMC in the global supply chain cannot be overstated. As the linchpin for a myriad of industries, ranging from consumer electronics to automotive, TSMC's influence permeates the core of technological progress. However, the concentration of such a critical component in one geographic location raises concerns about the resilience of the global supply chain, especially amid geopolitical uncertainties and the potential for disruption. 
Let's shift gears towards the elephant in the room, China. Now, China obviously recognizes the pivotal role of semiconductors and is constantly seeking to reduce dependence on foreign technology. Major players like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation have been at the forefront of China's semiconductor ambitions. However, a substantial technological gap persists between Taiwan and China in chip manufacturing. TSMC's cutting-edge technology, including advanced processes like 5 nanometer fabrication, places it leagues ahead of its Chinese counterparts. This technological disparity is further highlighted by the size difference in their chips, with TSMC producing smaller, more powerful semiconductors. China's interest in gaining control of TSMC has been a strategic objective driven by the country's desire for technological self-sufficiency. The potential consequences of such a takeover are profound. Not only would it grant China control over a critical component of the global semiconductor supply chain, but it would also raise concerns about the misuse of TSMC's advanced technology for military purposes. As an example, TSMC makes semiconductors used in F-35 fighters and a wide range of military-grade devices by the U.S. Department of Defense. Many U.S. defense systems use field-programmable gate arrays, which are similar to commercial versions, but introduce certain specific military features, such as higher levels of heat and radiation tolerance. The major designers of FPGAs are U.S. firms that depend on Taiwan for much of their production. The U.S. firm Xilinx, for example, invented the FPGA, but most of its semiconductors are manufactured by TSMC and United Microelectronics Co., another Taiwanese firm. The full extent of U.S. reliance on Taiwan for the manufacturing of chips for military applications has not been disclosed, but it is an important factor underlying U.S. government pressure on TSMC to move its production of military devices to the United States. The economic fallout from a Chinese takeover of TSMC would reverberate globally. TSMC's intricate web of international manufacturing units and reliance on raw materials from various countries makes it a linchpin in the global supply chain. A disruption in TSMC's operations could trigger a domino effect, impacting industries and economies worldwide. As a cornerstone in the production of chips for diverse applications, from consumer electronics to automotive, the consequences could be catastrophic. Like I said before, TSMC's global impact is emphasized by its close collaboration with international tech giants like Marvell Technology, Apple, Qualcomm, and NVIDIA. A Chinese takeover would disrupt these critical partnerships, leading to a shortage of key components for products that fuel the digital era. The potential collapse of the global semiconductor supply chain would not only hinder technological advancements, but also trigger economic downturns, affecting industries far beyond the realm of technology. So, what is the U.S. doing in all of this? Something rather interesting, as it turns out. In response to the challenges posed by the semiconductor industry's decline in the United States, President Joe Biden introduced the Chips and Science Act. Enacted in 2022, this legislation allocated a whopping $280 billion in funding to revitalize U.S. semiconductor manufacturing. The decline was stark, with the U.S. producing only 10% of the global semiconductor supply in 2022, down from 37% in 1990. The act aimed to reverse this trend, fostering high-tech economic development within the country. The legislation triggered a race to build government-subsidized semiconductor factories on U.S. soil, known as FABs. While the initiative aimed to secure a domestic semiconductor supply chain, it brought to light several challenges. The rushed construction process led to site injuries, safety concerns, and instances of union avoidance. Additionally, the environmental toll of semiconductor manufacturing raised alarms with the industry accounting for 11% of the U.S.'s non-domestic water usage in 2022, despite relatively low production. The sector also generated substantial greenhouse gas emissions and hazardous waste. These issues highlight the need for the United States to learn from historical shortcomings and ensure that the revitalization of the semiconductor industry prioritizes worker safety and environmental sustainability. 
In the midst of these strategic moves, the U.S.-Taiwan relationship holds immense significance in the semiconductor landscape. The visit of United States House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to Taiwan in mid-2023 highlights this importance. McCarthy's closed-door meeting with Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, marked a historic event, making him the highest-ranking U.S. official to meet a Taiwanese president on American soil since 1979. This meeting, condemned by China, emphasized the unofficial but robust relationship between the U.S. and Taiwan. The U.S. follows a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Taiwan, acknowledging Beijing's One China policy while maintaining a commitment to the island's security and well-being. The meeting between McCarthy and President Tsai highlighted their shared values of economic freedom, democracy, peace, and stability. But the question remains, why would the U.S. sidetrack China like this? That semiconductor money is enticing, isn't it? We've explored the seismic shifts in the semiconductor landscape, witnessing Taiwan's pivotal role and China's ambitious pursuits. Semiconductors, the hidden architects of our digital world, have clearly become geopolitical game changers. As Taiwan's prowess squeezes China, tensions escalate, foreshadowing a potential economic war. The delicate dance between these global players has far-reaching implications. What are your thoughts on this intricate power play? I'd love to hear from you, so let's get the discussion going in the comments down below.